Welcome to the chapter number six. In the previous chapter, we ran some bots. We let them run for a few days, and today we're going to analyze the performance. For that, we have this page that is created and maintained for one of our biggest community members of Hummingbots that is called Mr. Drupman. Welcome, Mr. Drupman, to the stage. Hi, Fede. Thanks for inviting me today. Um, I'm going to give you a quick overall uh, of how does this strategy performance page work. Uh, we are going to review some of the features and after that, uh, hopefully, we will get some insights about what we have been doing. Okay, so the first part here uh, is data source. Here we can choose uh, our database source. Here it looks that we can find general or uploaded data. This uh, uploaded data, you can get it from this uh, expander uh, located here where you can drag and drop files. Uh, this is mostly used when you work with, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe other collaborators and they can share you the database they have been working on. And here we can find uh, the databases generated uh, by deploying directly from dashboard. So in this case, we have two, we have daemon and daemon2 uh, and we can choose them, for example, here, and we can select a database to start our analysis. Okay, so we will start by the worst possible case, that is that when our database is corrupt, uh, we will get this error message called DB status. Uh, if we expand this, we will see which tables are uh, in which state, for example, orders and order status are correct, uh, trade field, uh, had this error, this is a common pandas error. Uh, this is probably because we have made a backup of the database while we were running the bot. So uh, if we want to get a very healthy database, uh, I suggest that you stop your bot first. Okay, so now let's jump to another example that we have here. This was deployed directly from dashboard and this is working. This is daemon v2. Here we can see a quick uh, overview of the strategy summary. Here we will have some uh, common attributes that are useful to get a very quick insight of what have we been doing. Uh, for example, like the strategy name or exchange, trading pair. Here we can see quickly the number of trades, uh, total volume, a very quick uh, PNL over time, and the realized PNL. Uh, in this case, we have only two trading pairs. Uh, so if we have more, we can see in this chart, we can compare our different PNLs so we can, can have really quick insights. Okay, but now I want to show you a success case uh, that is in this uploaded data. This is a daemon v3, uh, multiple pairs. Here, look what ha happened here. Uh, we have these three different pairs. Uh, we're going to analyze this uh, WLD UCT, uh, we can uh, give a more deeply analysis by clicking here in the explore checkbox. If we want to choose more than one, we will have an error, okay? For now, we doesn't allow multiple selections, uh, but, but let's keep with one. Uh, here we will have this uh, explore trading per section. Here we will start with this daytime range uh, it's a very common practice to start and stop your bot uh, a lot of times if you're trading because you want to fix some params or stuff like that. So if you have the correct timestamp, uh, you can subset, for example, if I come here and let's move here, we'll have a subset uh, version of what happened and all of these metrics will be filtered according to this data and filter. Okay, so now let's remove this data and filter because we want to analyze the complete data. Okay, so we will start with this net PNL UCT. It make around nine bucks. Uh, it traded 405 times. It has a very high accuracy. Look, this is a 96%. Uh, this is really amazing because it didn't make mistakes. Uh, it has a profit factor of 1.31. Uh, eight days. This is actually have been running for over eight days, and look at how sustained was this performance uh, within a price change of five percent and a total buy volume and a total sell volume of almost four point five k. Here we can see the accumulated PNL. This is uh, calculated over all the trades that has been registered in our database, and it doesn't depend on time. We are just looking the position of every trade. 
Um, this was really inspired by TradingView uh, backtesting page. So what we are going to do next is to jump to a more detailed summary in the market activity. Okay, so in this section, uh, we will start by saying that depending on the amount of data you have, you can switch your candles interval from one minute to one day, uh, depending on you know how long have you been running your bot. Uh, here you can choose how much candles per page you want to choose. Uh, depending on your system memory, uh, you will get up to 5,000. So if I change this to 5,000, we will see the complete picture. Look at this uh, little gap here. This is probably because uh, the bot has been uh, turned off here. So always remember that this candlestick depends on the market recorder of our bot. So if we stop it, then we won't see uh, any information here. Now let's get back to the 400 candles per page. Look that here we have a paginator where we can switch uh, on different uh, intervals of time and our charts uh, will be filtering according to this page. So if we want to make some detailed analysis, this is good for sharing. Uh, I will get back to the overall performance. For this overall performance, uh, I'd like to invite Fed again to talk about this because this strategy was designed by, by him. So uh, I know he will have very good insights about this performance. Well, as you can see in this graph, the first part, let's, let me zoom in a little bit. So the first graph shows us with the triangles, the trades that we are doing. This is basically a mean reversion strategy. So when the market goes up and is deviating a lot from the mean, we're going to short. And when the market is going down and deviating from the mean, but on the other side, we are going long. So as you can see, we have the triangles here with all the trades. We have the PL over time. You have a distinction here with the trade PL and the fees. The fees, as you can see, is this line that is increasing over time. And the last graph is very interesting since it shows the quote inventory change. So if we are taking short positions, this value will be negative. And as you can see, when the market is going up, we can see here that the inventory, we are holding a lot of short positions. And when the market is going down, we are holding a lot of long positions. And that is expected because that is how our strategy works. So over time, we will see that when we are in this case, in this uh, scenario, we're going to hold a lot of short positions. And when it reverts to the mean, we are consolidating that as a profit. And that happens a lot of times. As you can see here, the market goes up suddenly and we are and holding a lot of short positions. And then when it comes back down, we are reducing our positions and increasing the profits. So I will let now uh, Drupman to finish with the explanation of the intraday performance and the returns distribution. Okay, so now let's uh, start from these uh, panel metrics. You can hide them or show them with this checkbox. Uh, okay, now we will jump into intraday performance. Uh, you know, as crypto works 24-7, uh, uh, this is a good chart so we can see the performance during the day. Here we have on the radial axis uh, the time of the day and the size of, the, of every axis represents the volume and the color represents the realized PNL. We can see a color scale here down. So this is to have a quick insight if there are some times when, for example, markets open that we are getting into risk or into real good profits. Now here down, we have this returns distribution. This tries to measure every trade we register in our database so we can see how individually contribute to the overall PNL. Uh, on the green side, we have the profits and on the red side, we have the losses. Uh, one final comment here is that you can switch to the table view. Here you will see this uh, raw information that you can download. Uh, we can see the timestamp, uh, the gross PNL. This will be like the uh, full trade register in Hummingbot and the trade fee. So if we subtract the trade fees over the gross PNL, we will have the realized PNL. And this is the one which is registered here in the returns distribution. 
Okay, one of the final sections here that we can find is the matrix section. Here we will have another uh, calculated matrix, for example, trade PL UCT, fees, uh, total by trades, uh, total sell trades. Uh, the idea of this section is to continue uh, improving it by the suggestion of the community. So we are uh, expecting to get more feedback and continue building this. One good idea will be to add the position executors uh, in this section. And finally, here we have a downloadable uh, version of the tables. Uh, here we can download the trades. Uh, all of the information shown here is calculated from trades. So if you want to make your custom analysis, uh, just need to go here and download it. Uh, and here it is. Uh, we can see orders and we can see order status. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you like it. And thank you, Drupman, for being such a good contributor and improve this page every month. So, well, I hope that you start analyzing your strategies. And in the next chapter, we are going to see one of the coolest features of how you can create strategies, backtest, optimize, and deploy them with the dashboard. So thank you very much and see you in the next video.